what's going on youtube back with another video to share with you eight quick and easy tips to help improve your macro photography tip number one morning sessions mornings are the best time in my opinion to go out for sessions because most most mornings bugs are still resting so it just makes them a whole lot easier to photograph whereas in the middle of the day bugs are most active and it's hard to photograph them with them moving around and flying around. It's just much easier in the morning time. And plus it's not as hot either. Tip number two, ditch the tripod. I know a lot of people say, and articles say to use a tripod, but I don't think it's necessary for macro. But most of the time I feel like it, it'll just get in the way rather than help. Tip number three is to take a lot of photos because most of the time in macro, it'll take about 50 to 100 shots before you get a shot that you're satisfied with. It's really hard to nail a shot on the first try. So my tip is just to take a lot of photos so you won't have the issue. Tip number four is just being patient. Cause I know a lot of times it can get frustrating when you're out there and you're not getting a lot of photos or the photos you're taking are just not coming out as good as you want. But patience is key when it comes to macro. Tip number five is to have some backup batteries. If you plan on being outdoors for a long period of time, just so you won't have to have the issue of your batteries dying and that's it. You have the extra ones with you ready. Tip number six is to have a diffuser. Diffuser is like the most, one of the most important things when it comes to macro photography for soft, even lighting. I can go more in depth in another video about the importance of a diffuser. Tip number seven is to always shoot in manual mode while shooting macro so you have full control over what's in focus and what's not, whereas autofocus just guesses what you want, what you want in focus. Tip number eight is to try to be eye level with your subjects by getting low to the ground if possible. You know, don't be afraid to get your clothes dirty or none of that. All level shots are important because it just gives you a cool perspective of the bug and it makes it seem like you're part of their world. Hope these quick tips help you out with your photography. I plan, I plan to go more in depth in future videos with most of these tips. Hope you all like this video. Like and subscribe for more if you like content like this. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.